Welcome back to Inside City Hall. We're debating public smoking with David Schwartz, who represents tobacco retailers, and Michael Seelback from the American Lung Association. So, Michael, I'll begin with you in this section. I guess, how do you enforce something like this? And the fact is, these, these kinds of laws are self-policing. You put a lot of signs out, you educate the public, and then they recognize, the public recognizes, and will say, hey, you know, there's a law in the books, put out your cigarette. Uh, you know, it, it's going to self-police and it's going to work. It works across the state. Laws are already in place that do this. But what's the difference between smoking on a beach, smoking in a park, and smoking on a public street? Well, I mean, this is, this is a place where kids and families recreate, where people are going to have uh, a nice day at the park, a day at the beach, and they should be able to do that uh, with breathing in clean, fresh air. But what about that person who wants to go to the park, wants to go to the beach, and wants to have a cigarette? while sitting on the beach in the open air. Their, their cigarette shouldn't have an, a, a negative effect on all the people around them. Please, it, it, it doesn't. We're talking about enforcement here. Enforcement? Are, are you kidding me? We're losing over $2 billion a year due to all these great laws that have come from over here. All these terrific laws have just caused the people of the state of New York to not realize revenue on about 40 million cartons of cigarettes, on a ton of cigars, because the revenue is being realized by the, by the people of the state of New Jersey, by the people of the state of Pennsylvania, and, by, and most of all, what by the Indian Reservation. What statistics do you oh, have York, that, show how, that, that show people who, who from New York are going New York to New York Jersey? Tax Department. I mean, well, no, David, David, New York David's right, department. actually, in terms of the tax, and we're working with you to close those loopholes because we don't want to see that revenue that's, lost. That's, and, in terms I'm of very, smoking on uh, buying cigarettes from, uh, from the reservations. reservations. Exactly. Very happy you're working with us on that. But, but the, 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 the fact of the matter is all these laws, have, have all they have done is, is, is push business out of the state of New York at a time when we cannot afford, where we are walking away from small business people, people that, that have put their lives into their entire stores, and they are getting destroyed. How do we know this? You know, you could see the graph. We just lost 33% of the cigarette sales in the state of New in the state of New York. You think everyone just stopped after the dollar fifty went in? They New Jersey has seen their sales skyrocket. I'm sure you've seen I've, the statistics. I've seen the data, but we also know that the price is gonna make people quit. We know that raising the price is the okay. single biggest way to make 0. people quit. Point oh four percent of the people will quit because of that. Not thirty three. How many businesses that you represent have closed since 2002 or so, 2003, good, when the cigarette taxes good, in the city really started going up? Oh, a good question. Out of our um, convenience store group, we've had thousands close up. And, directly, you, can, and you can attribute it specifically I, I'll to give cigarettes? You one, I'll give you one in upstate New York. There is a tobacco, uh, there's a cigarette tax agent. These are the people that collect the revenue for the city and the state of New York. The minute this tax went up, his bond to even pay, see the stamps are prepaid by the, by the wholesaler. So the minute that tax went into effect, he had to, in order to run his business, he needed to put an extra $10 million into the business. Couldn't afford to keep it. Guess what? That person closed up. Those jobs are lost. There are 250 jobs that were lost in upstate Michael New York Davis because of this. talking about everything except the most important thing, public health. He's talking about the tax. He's not talking about the smoke-free parks proposal. He's not talking about the smoke-free beaches proposal. He's talking about these other issues. What we know is that there's a smart proposal out there that's going to help protect New Yorkers. And all we care about is helping people breathe. It's a ridiculous proposal. And you know what? I think New Yorkers are going to start seeing through all the nonsense. I've addressed it a number well, of times. Some, some polls, cannot, but quote, some polls have can, showed that people want this. That's you right. cannot, you fact, cannot. two thirds of New York City oh, it's residents a complete, support it's this. It's an infringement on, on people's rights. And those two thirds have been brainwashed by organizations like yours, which tell them that it's unhealthy to, 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 to smoke in a park. You know it's completely untrue. There's not one scientific study. You still can't get me the scientific study yes, that in the, shows. In the three minutes that, that we're sitting here, I have not the, yet got you, you the report. Either it exists or it doesn't. It doesn't exist. You know it does. The U.S. Surgeon you General saying, is not one to. You've brainwashed. That, you've brainwashed. brainwashed yes, the US your Surgeon organization General. has yes. brainwashed the people of the state of New York to believe that somehow there's a health concern by, by people smoking in a park. No, I've, it's I've, not I've, true. There's no scientific study that shows that. And, and it's just a continued brainwashing of the people. All right, so if there's some we, stat, we, there's talk, some... we talk to families with children with asthma who get asthma attacks by breathing in things like secondhand smoke, pollution, and dirt. And there's no, there's no yeah. second, there's, there's no way to argue against that. There's lots of that. pollution in New York City. That's right, and we're fighting that there's, too. There's, well, what about that? There is a lot of pollution. People are going to be, are, are on the street, they're breathing in all the fumes from cars, 
from buildings that that are that you know have uh, heating systems that pollute. I mean, what what the American is that also Lung Association is, is leading efforts to clean up air pollution in this city, well, and we're also working on tobacco control. The two are not. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We believe that you shouldn't have to breathe unhealthy air from any source. Yeah, they're also pushing ultra low sulfur, which is going to cause an oil shortage in the in the state of New York. Different issue, but again, pushing things that are going to have this effect on the people, which 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 in in this society is just unconscionable. So do That's you, what people don't see. So do you see. not think cigarettes are a health problem? I, I think there is science that shows that that it is unhealthy to smoke cigarettes firsthand. I think these secondhand studies are, 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 are there's just as many studies that show that secondhand so smoke. So you don't believe don't, what the health, the city's health department puts oh, out? Oh, this, this city's health department? Absolutely And not. the federal government, you this don't city, believe that The either. federal government is split on, on and, and the, the U.S. Surgeon, the second, Surgeon General, the, but the, the chief second, medical officer of the United States But they've States never America. did a study in a park or, or you know, on a beach there's in no open air. There's no safe level of exposure to secondhand that, smoke. That's, that's not true. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So you're calling the you know, U.S. Surgeon not, General a liar? I'm not calling the U.S. Surgeon General a liar. He didn't say that. He's never uh, done a study of, again, there's never been the issue that we're talking are, about I mean, today. But to be, but issue, you are, I mean, you're here protecting businesses, though. I am. I'm, I'm here to protecting businesses. But guess what? Businesses are people. And that's one thing I'm, that, I'm that putting, you, don't, you don't understand, uh, that businesses understand. are people. These are families. These are many, many immigrants, too, who come here to live the American dream, opening up a 24-hour supermarket, working working 24 hours a day at, in this market and to, to think that, that, that organizations like this and that the government has taken away 50% of their sales is just insane. I don't, see, I don't even see how this proposal deals with sales. This is dealing with, a, no, with it's everything using the product be, on parks and beaches. Because they have a pipeline of all these great ideas. And this is just the, the latest one in a series of ideas that is going to hurt the people of this state. All right, Michael, you're going to get the final word on this. This proposal is not going to hurt the people of New York. It's actually going to protect them. It's going to improve public health, and it's going to help all New Yorkers breathe easier, and we're happy to support it. Yeah, we'll all right. see the Wizard of Oz. David, so, yeah. Michael, thank, thank you, you for joining us. We'd love to debate this uh, some other time. Thank you. All right, it's time for a break. We'll be back with a preview of tomorrow night's program. Stay with us.